pictures. Take a look at the list. Robert Longo exhibition. Well, take a look around here. Robert Longo is probably one of one of the celebrity artists in New York these days. He's been on the scene since I guess the mid late seventies. And he's been showing here with Metro Pictures forever. This show is titled Surrendering the Absolute. This is City of Glass, two thousand nine. 70 by 96 inches. As I was saying, Robert Longo has been in the, the New York art scene for about 30 years now. And I guess he made his first big splash with a show at Artist Space. It was curated by Douglas Prince titles Pictures. Got some movie stars here tonight. There's John Turturro. This massive piece is titled Cathedral of Light. And this is roughly 10 feet tall by 20 feet long. And it's five panels. kind of smudgy. We're also going to see a lot of people dressed in black tonight. Well, in a lot of ways, well, there's Jay Gorney. This is really about Especially the cool of the 1980s. And Jerry Saltz has commented when he first got to New York and would run around visiting galleries that he was afraid to go into Metro Pictures because the place was so cool. I don't know if he was cool enough to show up there. This is titled Black Chamber. and mounted paper on sculpture approximately 48 by 48 by 144 inches. This is actually a very um, typical statement for the pictures generation because in a lot of ways they were coming out of minimalism and Post painterly abstraction, conceptualism. This kind of presents drawing, or at least the black and surface of drawing in a little different context. is titled Judge's Other Hat. This is 63 by 77. Charcoal on paper. Oh, I believe that's the artist right there. third gallery. This piece is titled A 
sound of speed and light. Challenging to get this kind of gradation that he's got on this. This is charcoal on mounted paper and it's 59 by 99 and 7 eighths inches. Ah, gee, go for the extra eighth inch, call it 100 inches. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that Robert Longo was also involved in the downtown post-punk music scene like in the late 70s, early 80s, places like the Mud Club. This is untitled Windows at Night. I think this, this also goes along with the whole idea of the pictures generation and appropriating imagery. This is definitely heavily worked surfaces here. Unfortunately, you can't really perceive all of the surface nuances with this glass on here. But I don't think it's an accident. I think Robert probably likes the glossy surface. Robert Longo, in many ways, is a polymath. He has worked as an artist, draftsman. I think he played in a rock and roll band. And also directed the classic late 90s film, Johnny Pneumatic, which I believe was a harbinger of the Matrix series. There's Walter Robinson, who's also one of the Pictures Generation guys. Uh-oh. There's the signal. Last call for alcohol. Time to head home. So, this is James Com reporting on Robert Longo's Surrendering the Absolute here at Metro Pictures. Thanks, Kate. Cool bike. Thanks. Excellent. How safe is that? Oh, Not dead yet. Not dead yet, okay. Oh, all the way from Brooklyn, huh? Not, not Brooklyn you have gears on that and everything? No, no gears. No gears. Is that a fixie? No, it can be, but I don't I don't usually ride it. Okay. Drive carefully. Thank you. See you in Brooklyn. Yeah. Alright, where, where are you headed? Brooklyn. Which part? Red Hook.